Singapore Asho 2024 organizer Xperia, said Israeli defense companies that were invited here were not subjected to international sanctions, blacklist or embargo. In response to queries, by today, on Wednesday, March 6. Its managing director like Chet Lam said that the company's practices were consistent with international standards. Mr. Lack added, the participating companies have not had international sanctions imposed on them and have continued to participate in international defence events held in other countries after the Israel-Hamas conflict began. During the Singapore Asho last month, the Israeli Ministry of Defence and 11 of its defence contractors were present, including Israel Aerospace Industries, Rafael Advanced Defence Systems and Elbit Systems. These companies have taken part in international defence events held in Australia, Dubai, France, Poland, South Korea, Thailand and the United States. More than 1,000 participating firms from 50 countries or regions, including countries from the Middle East, exhibited at the Singapore Airshow this year, Mr. Lex said. The event, usually held once every two years, has been dubbed as Asia's most influential international aerospace and defence exhibition where stakeholders in the global aviation industry gather and network. Today, reached out to Xperia after Member of Parliament MP Nadia Ahmad Samdin filed a parliamentary question last month for Minister for Trade and Industry Gon Kim Yong. She asked about the considerations for permitting Israeli defence firms to display arms and equipment at the Singapore Air Show. The MP Forong MOKO Group Representation Constituency added that some of these weapons were reportedly being used by the Israeli Defense Force in the Israel Hamas War. Back in 2013, a documentary called The Lab claimed that Israeli arms and ammunition were field tested on Palestinians in the occupied territories, including Gaza. Recently, other international media outlets, such as Middle East Monitor, questioned whether few tested weapons were being exhibited during the Singapore Air Show 2024. In a written response to Ms. Nadia, Mr. Gon said the Singapore Air Show is organized by Xperia Events Private Limited, which has discretion in the invitation of exhibitors as long as exhibitors are not subject to prevailing sanctions by the United Nations or the Singapore government. Mr. Gon said that this stance is consistent with the government's position on the Israel-Hamas conflict, which Minister for Foreign Affairs Vivian Balakrishnan had explained in Parliament on February 29. Dr. Balakrishnan said last week, that Singapore would not ceremonially cut ties with nations every time it disagrees with their actions, whatever we say or do diplomatically will not change the situation on the ground nor. I will add, will it influence Israel to suddenly change its policy, nor will it necessarily immediately reduce the suffering on the Palestinians. Instead, it is important to maintain good ties with both Israel and the Palestinian Authority. He added then. Mr. Lex said on Wednesday, the Singapore Air Show is a platform for stakeholders within the aerospace and defence industry to network and engage in conversations. And activities at the Singapore Air Show stay within these boundaries.